this video, I'm going to show you how to do the name branches workflow, basically how to check out branches and merge in branches and push them and pull them from GitHub uh, all within Android Studio. So in another video, I showed you that, you know, when you start out, maybe the easiest way is to have everybody just be on the master branch. So that way, when you commit code, you know, it's always on the master branch, you push it to GitHub is on the master branch, you pull it. And so uh, that works and it's a good way to get started. You should do that at first. Uh, what you find out when you do that is pretty soon you, you get into the following situation where let's say you and I are working together on master branch and uh, I've made two or three commits. Look, in my laptop, you have another four or five commits in your laptop, of course, different because we're doing different stuff. And uh, I wanna, I wanna like say run your code or look at your code. Well, I can't unless, you know, I physically go to your laptop and look at your stuff. Uh, there's no easy way for you to do this unless, of course, you know, you actually push all your four or five changes to GitHub and then I pull them. Of course, the moment I do that, I have to merge them in with my code and I don't want to do that. Right? I don't want to merge yet. So I'm not ready for that. Uh, so we would have been able to do this if you had been working on a branch and you have just pushed that branch to GitHub, then I could have taken a look at your branch or even pulled it. So uh, the basic idea is, I'm gonna say here, everybody has a branch and the branch is named after yourself, say. Uh, and then later on, uh, as your project gets bigger, you change from naming your branch after yourself to uh, issue uh, named branch. The branch is named after an issue or a feature that you need to implement. Uh, so it, it's the basic same idea, right? Um, so the rules we're going to do is, these are just conventions. We're going to say, well, the master branch is, is where we put the code that I'm sharing. So when I'm ready to share my code, I'm going to merge it in with the master branch, put basically put it in the master branch. And then that means everybody else uh, can pull it and look at it and incorporate it into the code. So master is the project we're working on together. Uh, and uh, another rule is that, you know, for now, I'm only going to be the, I'm going to be the only one making changes on my branch. Uh, that's just a convention uh, that's useful. So you don't get confused. But again, obviously, once you go to issue name branches, then the idea is only people working on that issue make changes on that branch. So the basic steps, I put them here. So to update master, I just check out master and pull. To start working on my branch, I check out my branch. I merge in the master, which is going to pick up any changes from master. I write my code, do all my commits, etc. Step three, you know, repeat, repeat, repeat. And then I uh, can also push it or not whenever I want. So push my branch. And when I'm ready to share my code, so after I do step three a bunch of times, then I say, okay, I'm going to share this. I'm ready. Uh, I check out master, I do a pull again. So this is the same as this step here, just to get updated. Then I merge in my branch and then I push the master. So let's do those. Uh, so first, how do you create a branch in Android Studio? You just go down here. You can do it from over there too. But uh, if you go down here, you say new branch and then you give it a name. So I already did that. I have this branch here, it says Git Jose and Vidal. Uh, you can change branches by just clicking in. I also have the master branch here, so I can check that out. And so now I am on the master branch there. Um, so, and then I'm going to go over here and check back out to uh, my name branch. Uh, okay, so I'm in my name branch and uh, uh, let me just show you the GitHub repo here. This is the GitHub repo. So everybody, you know, we have I already pushed these from before, but I'll show you how to do that. So the three branches are there. They're all pointing. Everybody's pointing to the same spot. We're synchronized. So we start out all synchronized. Now I am here. I'm going to make a commit. I just added, you can see the blue line here. I just added all these comments, uh, but I have not committed them. So I'm going to commit. Oops, sorry, I'm going to. Um, so add instructions. So I'm going to commit that to my branch here. So I am in step here writing code. So I checked out my branch. You saw that I did that before. There was nothing to merge in master. So I, I skipped that step. Uh, and then I'm just writing some code. I'm doing a commit. I just did one. 
Uh, I'm going to do another commit. Um, just to have two of them. Yeah, I should name it properly. Yeah. So I'm going to commit those and push. Why not? So when I push, it's going to push, it's pushing my branch now. So I push that because I am right now on my branch and I push it to GitHub. Let's go to GitHub. And if we reload this page here with a graph, uh, it'll show you that you see my branch now has these two extra commit add instructions and commit one. And it's, you know, ahead of master master and robot branch are over here. Also, if you go over here, just FYI, then uh, you can select what branch you want to look. If I want to look at my this branch here, I can select it. Um, so if I, I want to look at the code for any branch. So this is how the robot can go in and select Jose and Vidal and then look at you know my most recent commits. So you can select, oh, I see what you're doing there. And he doesn't have to do anything else. So once I push, my code on my branch then other people in the team can look at the stuff i'm working on but haven't merged into master yet okay let's go let's see so i did those two things i'm working on the same parallel and the robot is, is busy working right um so he, he is uh so this is the robot and uh, he's also on the robot branch I already made a branch for him called robot so he's on that branch and uh, he's going to add some data, right? Uh, he's a robot, so now he speaks binary. Uh, so I'm going to commit that. So he, he's going to make that change. Uh, that's not a very good message, but you get the idea. And uh, let's make just another one. So everybody's got two messages. To commit, sorry. And uh, one on different different commit message. So he commits and pushes. Why not? Uh, so robot's gonna commit and push hit the robot branch. Same deal as just did. You know, there's another person in the team. He just pushed his so I can go here on the graphs and network and uh, I have to reload it. There, so you see a robot is up here. He did these two changes. I did these two changes. Master is back here. Okay, let's say now uh, I am ready. So I've already I did my changes. Now I'm ready to merge those with master. Uh, and basically, I'm ready to share them with the team. How do I do that? Um, well, first, we have to go to my Android Studio. And uh, so it says, when I'm ready to share my code, I'm going to check out master. I'm going to do a pool. And then I'm going to merge in my branch. And then I'm going to push master. So first step, I'm going to check out master. Check out. Done. Uh, next step, I'm going to do a pool from master from GitHub. OK, so I'm doing a merge. All files are up to date because, you know, nothing has changed. Uh, and then now I'm going to merge in from my branch. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say merge my changes. So it says merge Jose and Vidal to master. And they've been merged. You can see there's an option to delete my branch right there. And that's because, you know, a lot, most people do issue named branches so if this was an issue and i just solved the issue i can delete that branch right there but i'm not this is not an issue so uh, i'm going to keep my branch so there we go and uh oh, and uh, i just pushed it right didn't i push it i have not pushed it so i'm going to go git push to push it to GitHub, the master branch, right? So I'm in the master branch. I'm going to push the master branch to GitHub at this point. I can reload this. And uh, sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, you can see that my two changes are here, right? So my two changes are there. I, uh, I just shared it. Now I'm done sharing it with everybody. 
Uh, so to start working on my branch, let's say now, of course, I go back to work on my branch. I'm going to check on my branch. And don't forget about this step. I'm going to merge in master. So I am going to say, OK, time to get back to work, work on the next feature. I check on my branch. But before I start working, I, uh, oops. I'm going to merge in from master. Uh, it's already up to date, but you know, it's a good idea just to do that, just to make sure uh, in case there were changes from the robot guy. Okay, now let's go to the robot. So, uh, well, let me just pull change to the robot. So here's the robot, and uh, back over at GitHub land, we can see. Uh, well, here, uh, my branch and the master branch are both pointing to this commit. So we're both cool, but the, the robot is, you know, off still on its own. And uh, you see that a robot uh, has to pull in this changes from master and also merge in his changes, his two commits. So let's have him do that. So he is going to... I'm going to go switch over to the robot and let's say the robot made his changes. He's done, so he's going to follow the steps. Uh, first step is to commit his code. He did that. Now he's going to go change over to master. He's going to check out master and he's going to pull in any changes that have been made. And in this case, there will be because I made some changes. We're going to merge those in. This updating there. Uh, finished. So now we've brought in the changes that I made. So we're here. And, uh, and then now I want to merge in the robot. The robot wants to merge in his changes from his branch. So there's a merge conflict. Let's resolve that because the robot put his stuff in. So remember how this works. Oh, let me make this visible. Uh, so, you know, the result here is in the middle. Uh, what I want to do in this case, I want to accept this. Um, I, uh, I don't want this thing here. And uh, I want this. Uh, you can decide, you know, depending on your code, but that is, um, yeah, that's it. This is how I want it. I'm going to change it. Uh, so I just merged in the robots changes to the master. Uh, <laughs> you notice that in merging in, I actually got rid of uh, all the robots changes, but, you know, typically you don't do that. Uh, and uh, okay, that's it. So we're just gonna push now master. To GitHub It's pushing it. And there you go. So now the master branch it should be updated with all of the robots changes. It just takes a few seconds for GitHub to get it there. So now the master branch is here. He's updated everything. You see now me, I am behind because I haven't picked up the robots changes and uh, the robot is also behind because um, the next step is when I'm ready to ship, when I'm ready to start working on my branch, I'm going to check out and then merge in master. So once again, the robot did his thing. He's going to, he's ready to start working once again. He's going to check out his branch and immediately he is going to merge in master. Um, is in this time we picked that up that merge commit and then i he can start working um so that's it